Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. Thank God for another day that the Lord has made and we are glad in it. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for his mercy and his compassion upon us. Our topic for today is a special message for special people. It is titled, Cry Out to God in Prayer. And our Bible reading is taken from the Gospel of Mark chapter 10, from verses 46 to 52. Cry out to God in prayer. Cry out to God in prayer. We need to cry out to Jesus. Today we are talking about the story of Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus cried out to God. We must seek Jesus with trust in his goodness and mercy. Sometimes our fears, our anger may prevent us from approaching God in prayer. Yes. We become angry with God himself. Yes, some people are even angry with God. I have, I know someone who is angry with God because the person has been saying a prayer that has not yet been answered. And to him, he believes God does not answer prayer. He believes God does not love him. And he said to me, I am not happy with God. I don't know if you have found yourself in that situation too. But the Lord is telling us today to cry out to God in prayer. Never to give up. Never to give up. No matter the situation. No matter what you are going through. No matter the challenges. The Lord says cry out to God in prayer. He is our present help in time of need. He will help you. The Lord will answer you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The story of Bartimaeus gives us assurance. Yes. Assurance that God still answers prayers. That God will answer your own prayer. There's a question that is so touching. That's the question that you need. You can imagine if God comes to you right now to ask you, what do you want me to do for you? I know you have thousands and millions of answers to give. Today, cry out to God in prayer. Tell God that thing you need. Let us tell him our heart's intentions and needs. Let us imitate Bartimaeus, the man of faith, the man of vision, a man unafraid to recognize his needs for healing and to cry out. Yes, cry out to God in prayer. The Lord is asking you that direct question now. What do you want me to do for you? And be, you, I will not miss out the way Bartimaeus cried out. Jesus, son of David. Have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Even when they were trying to shut him down. Even when they were trying to silence him. Even when they were trying to push him out. I don't know that challenge you are facing. The Lord is telling you not to give up. Don't be silenced. Don't give up. Don't allow that situation to weigh you down. Don't give that situation that opportunity. Don't allow Satan to take away your will. Your will is your power. You can imagine when they take away your will, child of God. They have finished you. They have finished you. That challenge you are facing, someone has faced it before and someone still testified. You are not the first that is passing through that challenge right now. I speak to you. Cry out to God in prayer. Just do the same thing that Bartimaeus did. Bartimaeus cried out to God in prayer. And our God, our compassionate God, showed him mercy. Mercy. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And he said, I want to see. He was a blind man. His problem is not the same thing with you. You have your own issues. You have your own problem. Table it to the Lord. Tell God 
what you want him to do for you. Don't allow anybody to silence you. Don't allow anybody to deprive you of your testimony. Don't allow your anger. Don't allow unforgiveness. Don't allow hatred. Don't allow jealousy. Don't allow that evil habit to deprive you of your testimony. Don't allow any position to take you away from your God. Cry out to God in prayer. As you cry out to God in prayer today, the Lord will surely answer you through Christ our Lord. Amen. We need to have the courage of our convictions. We need people who are like Bartimaeus that will not refuse to be silenced no matter what they are going through. I pray for you today that the Lord will give us grace to have our spiritual sight. Pray for spiritual sight. Ask God to open your eyes. Ask God to open your eyes you want to see. When you see, you will begin to, if you have that spiritual sight, you begin to see the things that you're not supposed to do as a child of God. You need that spiritual sight. We pray for spiritual sight today. We need the light of the Holy Spirit to enlighten us. We need the light of the Holy Spirit to open our eyes so that we may be able to run away from sin. We may be able to say no when we are not supposed to, to say yes when we are supposed to, to say no when we are not supposed to, we are, when we are supposed to say no. Yes, may God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bartimaeus cried out. I pray for you too, to cry out. That's the only way. Jesus is the only solution. Jesus is the answer. Anyone who call upon him will surely go with testimony. He said, call upon me, Jeremiah 33, 3. He said, call upon me and I will show you mighty things that you don't know of. That's what the Lord is telling you. Call upon him. Cry to God. Table your matter to God. And I pray for you. You must testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Happy Sunday and have a fruitful week ahead. As you cry unto God, the Lord will answer you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.